And across the African continent, the World Health Organization, WHO, has warned that Africa could become the next epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak. The organization stated that the continent does not have enough ventilators to deal with the pandemic, and there was a sharp rise in cases in the past weeks. The organization's African director, Dr. Matishidiso Moeti, says that the organization had witnessed the virus spreading from capital cities to the interland in South Africa, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, and Ghana. And in business, OPEC and non-OPEC members agreed to an oil production cut of up to 10 million barrels per day in a bid to regulate price and overproduction. Oil prices rose on Friday as Brent rose by 54 cents to $28.36 a barrel and U.S. crude at $25.57. We're now joined by Yinka Ademuwagun, SSA and Consumer Goods Analyst, United Capital PSC. Thank you, Yinka, for joining us. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for having me share this. Uh, please, right. please tell us how the market is reacting to the cut by, by OPEC+. Plus. So, yeah, um, so far um, the reaction has not been that impressive, overly impressive, because um, the demand destruction that we've seen so far in the markets continues to outweigh the supply cuts that OPEC has delivered. OPEC delivered the 9.7 million barrel per day supply cuts, while um, demand destruction is about 30 million barrel per day. OPEC is forecasting about 20 million barrel per day. So the, the supply cut is still not enough to compensate for, for the um, demand destruction that we've seen as a result of COVID-19 lockdown so far. And that has caused some negative reaction to prices. I think before I joined this call, um, um, the Brent crude oil price was trading at about $28 per barrel. After the, the deal was delivered, it was trading around the $3 per barrel. So um, and recent IMF um, reports and World Bank reports on what um, the expectation for the global economy has not been done, that impressive also. And that has also added some negative um, background or undertone to um, what crude oil price is doing at the moment. Now, would you suggest that the production cut would be between the midterm, long term? And how much of a needed impact on price will this constitute? So yeah, um, for for the interim, in the interim, like in this near term, the the it's not going to really impact um, prices that much. It's just going to reduce or slow the pace of um, price decline that we are seeing at the moment. But what I feel or what we believe at United Capital PLC Research is that in the medium to longer time, the 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 impact is going to be positive. Yesterday, Saudi Arabia and and Russia came out to say that they are willing to cut further to support prices. And um, that also has stimulated um, price appreciation as of today. You know, as of today, we've seen about 2% appreciation in Brent price, the same thing with WTI, which is the benchmark for US. And if you look at what these geopolitical zones are saying, the US, the Russia, and the Saudi Arabia, they want oil price that's above $30 per barrel. So for us, we believe we are in the medium to um, longer term, before the COVID-19 lockdown starts to ease, um, we're likely to see oil price to have a base value of about 30, base price of about $30 per barrel for Brent, while for WTI, a base price of about $20 per barrel. So um, in the medium to long term, our, our outlook for oil price is still positive because by the time we start to see easing in the lockdown that we've recorded so far, which, is, which has been negative for demand, then you will start to see um, recovery in demand. And pairing that with the supply cut that we've witnessed so far, then that will create an upside for, for prices in the longer term. Yeah. Now, Yinka, if you can, in just 60 seconds, from the point of, an, of analysis, how would this impact on the country's um, struggling revenue? So um, not much of an impact. Uh, you know, the, the, the Ministry of Budget have done a good job by revising um, the budget benchmark. The budget benchmark as of today is uh, for crude oil production is about 1.7 million barrel per day for oil price about $30 per barrel. For Brent. So, and based on our expectation, we expect that we could achieve $30 per barrel. And for production, we're still fine. Though what the OPEC is asking us to produce is about 1.4 million barrel per day. But if you include condensate, which is not part of what OPEC tracks, um, for Nigeria, we produce another 350,000 barrel per day and um, another 400 barrel per day of condensate. Right. So, if you add that to, to 1.4, we are still fine for 1.7 million barrel per day. But the major problem for us is selling. Um, I think as of yesterday, we had about 60 cargoes of, of crude oil on, 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 on the shore that is yet to 
find we are yet to find buyers for. So that will be the problem for us in 2020. Oh, we getting can. buyers for most right. of our crude oil will, okay. will be the major problem for us in 2020. All right, Yika, yeah. we, we need to let you go now. We're out of time. Yika Demuagun, thank you for joining us and for your contribution on News on the Hour. Thank you so much for having me.